Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan and welcome to JC's Anime Reviews. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than usual. Today I am going to be unboxing two f anime figures that I got. They're not from the same anime series like the last one we did with the Full Metal Alchemist one. Uh, there's links in the description to the, that video if you want to check it out. Um, we did that one a couple months ago, so this is the second unboxing that I've done on the channel. I know in my last video I did say that the next video was going to be an anime review, but I'm still working on that, so uh, I'm doing this video. I actually wasn't going to do this video because they weren't supposed to be coming up here to New Hampshire, but a family member sent all our mail from the house in Florida here and they happen to be the anime figures that I ordered uh, like in January or something like that. It was a long time ago, but they weren't supposed to be coming up here and I wasn't gonna do a video, but they are here, so I'm gonna do a video on them. Also, something I keep forgetting to mention in my videos is that I'm gonna be staying here longer. I'm gonna be staying here until early next year, so I won't be at my usual setup for quite some time. I haven't mentioned that in a video yet, even though it, I've known that for a little while now, but yeah, there you go, I said it. And now I'm gonna go get the first anime figure and by the way, the way we're doing this is I have my phone set up down here you can't see it but we'll cut to it in editing so you can see the figures better because I don't have a whole lot of room on this desk so I couldn't put my phone here and fit me in it that well so uh, that'll be down there I am recording I got the phone set up uh, I don't know how this is gonna look because my boom arms right here I'm gonna have to put it in front of it and yes this is the water I was drinking I have to move it so I'm gonna go grab it I hope that it's in frame I hope that you can see it the first one is going to be this one you should be able to see it down there. It's a Luffy figure from the Paramount War arc, which if you have watched One Piece or watched a lot of One Piece, you probably know what that arc is. Uh, it's a really cool arc and basically it's him in his like second gear form and there's like steam coming up around him It looks really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it I'm excited to see what it looks like this arc I really like because I think this was when I really started getting into one piece and really liked it I think it was after this arc I knew that I really liked it even though it's like 600 episodes in or something like that it's I forgot how many, it's like 300 or something. It's really long until you get to this part. But I was like that arc and it's kind of special because it kind of is when I really started getting into One Piece and like knew I was really gonna like it. So like I said, I ordered these back in, I think it was like January or maybe even December. It was right around the like Christmas or whatever I ordered it and it was like a pre-order thing. Pop this open, is there even more tape on this? Oh my God, they taped this part too. Okay, this is what it looks like, it's this. I mean, it's like a little stand down right here. Already one of the things at the bottom fell out. So, um, let's see how he goes on here. So first off, it looks really cool. Like, I like all the steam coming out of him from his form. He always does this pose whenever he transforms. This looks like a pain in the ass to get in. I'll cut to when this is in, by the way. All right, so I got him in. This is what it looks like. Uh, I really like it. I think it looks really cool. Like, I like this little stand here. I think this figure was only like $40 or something like that. It was like 40 or 50 bucks or something. It wasn't too expensive. The next one that I am going to show is a little more expensive, but this one wasn't that expensive. Uh, overall, I think it looks really cool. I like it. I like the steam in the background. Uh, this will probably be in the background from now on in all the videos. I'll have to find a spot for this, but this one looks really cool. I like it. This is super cool. I don't have any One Piece figures yet, so this was definitely really cool. And I'll go get the other one and put this in behind me. So this next one, I'm sure that you can tell by the box, uh, the box looks really cool. Uh, I don't know if there's enough room on this desk, but basically, you can probably see it from down there. It's Levi from Attack on Titan. Honestly, this is one of the coolest boxes that they have ever packaged it, or packaged it in. So there's him on the back, and on the side is the Armored Titan and uh, Colossal Titan. And then on the right, there's a Titan here that I won't say what it is because yeah, it's spoilers for the show. And then there's the Beast Titan. Also that might, Beast Titan might be kind of spoilers, but this is from when he fights him. I won't say what happens in the fight, but it's a pretty cool fight. So I'm gonna start opening this. This one was a little bit more expensive. I think it was like, it was like 170 or $200. This is one that I kind of want to keep the box. I think the coolest looking box though, or the nicest looking one was the one that was in 
the Full Metal Alchemist figure video. Those ones were a lot more expensive than these, but I mean, that's probably why the box was a lot nicer, but those ones I actually kept the box and it's up in my room. That one has the coolest box, I think, but this is the second coolest box that I've seen, but it is very cool. Like I kind of want to keep the box, so we're gonna go ahead and try to open it without damaging it. Also, I apologize for if my mic is peaking. Sometimes I move really close to it. I may have to real quick turn down the volume of it because it's getting pretty loud and I have to keep moving really close to it because the very limited desk space. I think the Ed and Al one from the Fulminal Alchemist unboxing video was probably the harder one to unbox because I had like a really crappy pair of scissors, but in this I have uh, a knife which I wish I had when I was unboxing that one. Okay, so first off, let's show you guys the figure down here. Wow, it looks super cool. There is plastic stuck on him, I believe. I have to take his head off. But first, it just, it looks really cool. He's got like blood all over him. Levi is probably my favorite character in Attack on Titan. He's just so badass. He's such a cool character. Okay, we finally got that open. I believe that these are like the, what is the, I can't remember the name of it, but the, the gear that they use to zip around. I know it has a name, I can't remember it. If you guys remember the name, let me know in the comments below. But it's the little thing that he zips around with. You guys probably didn't see all that, but there were like three layers of plastic on this little piece. Oh wow, it feels like it can break pretty easily. Okay, yeah, that explains why, but man, there were so many layers protecting that. So looking at the instructions, the first part of this is we are going to have to take his head and cape off. So yeah, took his head off. This is Levi without a head in case you were wondering. Probably weren't wondering what Levi looks like without a head, but here you go. Okay, so the next part looks really confusing. So this may take a little bit. I'll come back when I figure it out, but apparently you're supposed to do it before you put his head back on. So we'll come back with the finished thing. Oh boy. Okay. So we finally put them together. He's got his strings on and he's kind of on the stand. It's a little unclear on how to put him on there. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. My recording thing says that I have been recording for 43 minutes. It took a really long time to put this together. I'm pretty sure roughly 30 minutes or something like that. I don't know. It was a really long time putting this together. The reason being is so you guys could probably see it on the phone, but this on the right, right here, his thing, the little thing on the side that holds these like little string things on one of them it does not go in like it it, it kind of just sits in a little bit kind of just hangs there on the other one it does go in fully how it's supposed to go but one of them the left one will not go in no matter what and it's just kind of sitting there so if i touch it it will go flying out so yes very cool looking figure such a pain in the ass to put together honestly maybe it's the one that i bought that this thing will not go inside at all such a pain in the ass to put on but in the end i think it's worth it it looks cool i don't really want to move it around too much this is one of those things when put on a shelf and then probably never touch because it will not move it looks cool it does what it's supposed to do and yeah so there you have it okay i i actually forgot to put a sword in honestly i recorded an entire outro and stuff like that but uh here he is fully with the sword and everything this recording, I got it. I got the sword in. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, if it's the Luffy one or the Levi one. Personally, for me, it's the Levi one. This one was a pain in the ass to put together, so I hated putting it together, but I think that it looks a lot cooler than the Luffy one. But yeah, uh, Luffy one was much easier to put together, but I think they both look cool. Levi one's my favorite. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, and if you are gonna get any of them. The Luffy one or Luffy one is like, is it $40? Something like that, $40, $30. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 60 bucks, something like that. And then the Levi one's more like 200 bucks, something like that. But yeah, if you wanna go pick one of these up, I got them at the Crunchyroll store. I will leave links in the description 
description to check them out. Hey guys, both the figures are actually sold out at the Crunchyroll store, but I managed to find them on Amazon, and the Luffy one is $60 on there, which is the same price I paid for it, but the Levi one is $207, so it's about $30 more than what I paid for it, but there will be links in the description to where you can buy them on Amazon, and these links are Amazon associate links, and if you don't know what that is, basically it's where if you buy something from these links, I get a commission from it. By the way, this doesn't in any way affect the price of the actual thing, it's just Amazon gives me a commission for referring someone to their website, and that's all. Okay, so I'll let you guys get back to the video. Also, at the time of recording this, it's October 1st, so we're into like the Halloween month, and I would like to do a review for like horror anime or like scary anime. So let me know in the comments below what scary anime you want to see me review. Honestly, I don't really know of any. I've seen one that was okay. It wasn't really scary and it wasn't that great. So I don't really know of any. So let me know in the comments below. I had this idea for a little while thinking that whenever it gets to October, I can review some scary anime or something like that. So I'll probably do that. The next couple of videos will be wrapping up the summer anime that just finished. And then after that, we can do horror anime and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments below if there are any that you know of. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, hitting the like button and subscribing helps the channel a lot. Also sharing it around helps it a lot. So if you enjoyed it, please do that. Uh, I would really appreciate it. So I'll see you guys next time with an anime review this time. Uh, and uh, yeah, so bye.